In this video, we'll review how to factor using the difference of cubes. The difference of cubes occurs when you have a binomial made up of two perfect cubes separated by a minus sign. Here's an example, a cubed minus b cubed. There is a rule to figure out how to factor the difference of cubes. It goes like this. It is the quantity a minus b times the quantity a squared plus ab plus b squared. Now I can show you how this works and why this is actually going to give us a cubed minus b cubed. If we take this new factored form and I distribute, that is multiply a times the a squared plus ab plus b squared, I get a times a squared, which is a cubed, plus a squared b plus ab squared. If I now distribute the minus b, I get negative b times a squared, which is a, negative a squared b. Negative b times ab would be negative ab squared and negative b times b squared is negative b cubed. Now this doesn't quite look like the top. It's got a lot more going on. However, I see some things that are going to cancel now. a squared b will cancel out with a negative a squared b. a b squared will be canceled by the negative a b squared. It leaves me the a cubed and the negative b cubed, hence a cubed minus b cubed. Now this form is something you're going to have to memorize. All right, let's look at some examples now. I've got three problems here, and I want to think about them as uh, differences of cubes. So in these, some of these, I don't see them as cubes yet. So like, for instance, on number one, I see the x cubed, but minus 64 doesn't show me something cubed. So I've got to think of it as what cubed gives me 64. Well, I know that 4 cubed is 64, so this is really x cubed minus 4 cubed. In this pattern, x would be the a, and 4 is the b. So now I can just substitute it in. It, instead of a minus b, the first quantity is going to be quantity x minus 4 times the quantity a is again x, so it's going to be x squared plus 4x and then plus 4 squared. When you're done, rewrite it the 4 squared. The 4 squared is really 16, so this can be written as the quantity x minus 4 times the quantity x squared plus 4x plus 16. This will be the completely factored form. On number 2, Again, I see the x cubed, but the minus 125 doesn't show me something cubed. So I've got to rewrite 125 as something cubed. Well, I know that 5 cubed is 125. Take a moment, try to work this problem out before I tell you how to do it. If you need to, pause the video. All right, hopefully you've had a chance to work it out. Plugging it in, I see that we're going to get x minus 5 times the quantity x squared plus 5x plus 5 squared. This can be rewritten as the quantity x minus 5 times x squared plus 5x plus 25. Now the last one's got a variable on both pieces. So when I rewrite this and think of it as what the perfect cubes are going to be, it's x cubed minus the quantity 3y cubed. Substituting this in, I'm going to get the quantity x minus 3y times the quantity x squared plus 3xy plus the quantity, make sure it's quantity, 3y squared. Now the reason I say quantity 3y squared is I'm going to square both the 3 and the y. So this is going to become the quantity x minus 3y times the quantity x squared plus 3xy plus 9y squared. So again, it's just a matter of memorizing the formula and substituting it in. Now let's try a couple more examples. These ones are going to be a little bit tougher. I've got the rule. I know, that it's, I know what it's going to be. Rethink these as perfect cubes and then work it out. Again, I recommend that you pause the video, work it out, and then check the video using, to do your answers. I'll give you a moment again. All right, hopefully you've had a chance to do this. On the first one, I know that that 8x cubed can be written. It's the quantity 2x cubed. The minus 27 can be minus 3 cubed. So using my rule here, I can rewrite this as the quantity 2x minus 3 times the quantity and again, another quantity, 2x squared, plus 2x times 3, times, or plus the 3 squared. Now, simplifying this, I'm going to have the quantity 2x minus 3, and in the next parentheses, the quantity 2x squared is going to become 4x squared, the 2x times 3 is 6x, and then the last piece is 9. So I'll get the quantity 2x minus 3, times the quantity 4x squared, plus 6x, plus 9. On number five, I'm looking at that and it doesn't look like cube numbers. However, 
when I last look at it a second time, I see that 2 and 16 share a common factor. I can start this problem by factoring out a 2. If I factor out the 2, I get 2 quantity x cubed minus 8, and those I recognize are perfect cubes. This is really 2 times the quantity x cubed minus 2 cubed. So working this one out, I'll get 2 times the quantity x minus 2 times the quantity x squared plus 2x plus 2 squared. Now simplifying it one more time, I'll get 2 times the quantity x minus 2 times the x squared plus 2x and then plus 4. Thank you for watching this video and I hope it helped you understand how to factor using the difference of cubes.